I bet you that acne at one point or another will affect your quality of life and normally how you interact with those around you. I know mine did. Today I'm sharing with you my secret tip on how to get rid of your acne and achieve clear skin. I'm a pharmacist and welcome to Track MTM. We are going to do this in three sections again. The first one is going over possible OTC over-the-counter or prescription products that you can use. Basically the personal trial and error list that I've done over the years and how to apply my secret tip or recommendations appropriately. The first on the list is going over the over-the-counter products and prescription medications as well. Just to name a few, over-the-counter you see more like salicyclic acid or benzoyl peroxide. For topicals, you can have like let's say clindamycin or tretinone. I usually have prescription or sometimes it's a pro like compounded product that dermatologists will prescribe and then you can fill it at a specialty pharmacy. For oral pills or more like prescription medications, we're looking at, let's say, spironolactone or aldactone, um, which is like a diuretic. It can be used for, let's say, blood pressure or water, but I, I've seen it used for acne as well in young women. For girls, this is another option as well. You can take, let's say, birth control medications sometimes. Birth controls not only regulate your period, but also help to prevent acne. What's the most common one? Ortho tricycline or Yaz. For severe cases, I've seen Accutane dispense in the pharmacy. It's kind of problematic with that one because let's say you have to be registered a certain way and you have to get all your labs done. Um, the main thing is making sure you're not pregnant. It, you can't, cannot, I repeat, cannot be pregnant when you are on Accutane because it's gonna result in like fetal deformations and all that bad stuff. So very scary and definitely it will dry up your skin like crazy, okay? So it's not a good option. Um, I've never tried Accutane. What I've done, it's through, like I say, over-the-counter products. Here's my personal trial and error list. Back in the days, I would try like starting with the lower end of things like face wash or like a mask as well. I try lotion, a moisturizer, like even spot treatment here and there did not work, okay? And let me tell you, I even tried the benzoyl peroxide like up to the highest level, highest percentage was like what, 10%? Ooh. I started, well, I started with 2.5% and then kind of gradually working my way up. Uh, and it dr still, it dried up my skin like crazy. So it wasn't ideal. And then on top of that, I would get stressed and then putting more spot treatment on and then just the whole, my face is like a jungle. It's like a whole mess. <laughs> In benzoyl peroxide, honestly, it's not good if you're, let's say, going to, planning to become pregnant like what about those women who are pregnant and they want to use something for their acne as well like do they have to stop using benzoyl peroxide all of a sudden and then have to try something new it was just wasn't wasn't very wasn't a good choice i thought okay well i tried everything over the counter didn't work so what should i do go to my primary care doctor and then prescribe something new so I try clindamycin phosphate. It's like more of like a topical that you put on twice a day, so in the morning and then at night. Clindamycin, it's basically like an antibiotic. Typically for acne though, you only would see it through topical. I mean, if it's an oral, then it's more for some other kind of infection. Let me see, like do I even have a picture I can show you? <laughs> Who am I kidding? That was like a dark period of my life. I didn't was so self-conscious. I did not keep any photo during that time frame whatsoever. And I remember, oh my gosh, I used to wear like 
heavy, heavy foundation on my face just to cover up like all the pimples that I have. It was like all over my forehead, like on my like side of my cheek, like down to my chin as well. Sometimes like even goes to my neck. I didn't have any back acne though, but that was really, really <laughs> like, I try to avoid that as much as possible. Now to the point where I don't even wear foundation anymore. Yeah, I do wear makeup like blush and highlight. That's my favorite but no foundation whatsoever. I do spot conceal here and there if sometimes I do break out, tend to like, due to like stress. Okay, are you ready? So here's my list that I tried. Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment, Clinique Acne Clear Skin Starter Kit, Panoxyl, again, that was the benzoyl peroxide up to 10%. Clear Persa Gel, 10%. Clarisil, different. Olay scrub. Yeah, I remember that. I like scrubbing my face like crazy every single day. And even proactive. I spent so much money on proactive and it didn't do anything for me. And I was so, I was frustrated. I was frustrated to the point where nothing works. And like I thought to myself, what are my options? Because I don't want to take Accutane. And I want, I wanted so bad something or somebody to tell me what are my natural options. So I had to go through, like I say, a lot of things because nobody told me any different. And I spent tons of money, tons of money on products that did not work. And this is not what this channel is all about. This is not the type of video where I recommend a product, not so much. I would tell you the concept. I don't have a favorite brand or a pro favorite product to tell you specifically, but I, if you just follow the simple concept behind all these conditions, then you can effectively apply it to your daily life. Here's my secret tip that I still use to this day. And the tip is, are you ready? Tea tree oil. Now it doesn't matter, like I say, who cares about the brand, who cares about what specific one, because I know you're gonna ask, oh, what brand do you recommend? Doesn't matter, but here's what I can tell you. You wanna get, let's see, therapeutic or pharmaceutical grade, okay? That's the most important thing. And you want it to be 100% pure tea tree oil. Okay, I repeat 100%, not diluted, not 70, not 80. Usually it should say on the packaging, 100% natural and pure. That's what you should go with. And did you know that tea tree oil comes from Australia? I didn't know that, but okay. So let's get nerdy for a moment, okay? Scientific ingredient is called Melaleuca alternifolia. That's a scientific name. You know, I always wonder, like, where do they come up with these funky names? But I guess most of this is Latin, so I don't speak Latin. I wish I did, but I don't. Okay, what you should know first before diving into this, okay? First thing I want to tell you, <laughs> because this was strange to me the first time I used it, the smell, it's very potent, okay? <coughs> it's very strong. And it takes some time to getting used to. I mean, it's not that bad. Like once you put it on your face and a few minutes go by, you really can't smell it anymore. But I prefer because of the strong smell, I would do it at night. So it has antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, and antifungal properties. So four different, four different things. It can be used for most likely acne. I've heard of use for like athlete's foot before and even like contact dermatitis and, or even head lice. Some people like put it in their shampoo and then use it to just kind of wash everything off. And ooh, personal favorite, wound healing. I personally use it sometimes for like topical itchiness. So let's say I have like a, a bug bite that's been like itching for so much, but I don't want to resort to like um, hydro or to like a cortisone cream all the time because you're not supposed to be on that for a long period of time. Just a little dab on this right onto the bug bite. Don't feel a thing anymore. 
Isn't that amazing? I thought so. But for the purpose of this video, let's just focus on skincare. Oh, I almost forgot. So make sure that when you buy your tea tree oil, that it has to, okay? It has to come in a glass bottle, okay? I do not, do not recommend that you buy it in a plastic one because one, that means you didn't get the right grade, like therapeutic grade or pharmaceutical grade. Second of all, like I accidentally dropped and spilled this this bottle onto like a plastic container and it just it corroded not corroded it basically just destroyed the whole plastic thing so i don't think um that's a safe way to store this kind of product in you really do need a glass container and let's see i think i whenever i buy one of these it comes with like a nice um glass dropper make sure this part is glass as well do not use plastic i mean it already comes with like um like a bottle closer you can if you're like more of a, a dropper person then you can definitely replace the the cap and just kind of use this i i guess the um the dropper is more for like sanitary purposes i recommend that so like just a drop of this on here and then just kind of rubbing it in Okay, I'll show you in a moment how to use it properly too. Over time, the product will dissolve the plastic and it won't be good anymore. And you definitely, definitely don't want any kind of substance that might kind of mix into with your skin care. I mean, it's, it's kind of <laughs> the goal, isn't it? Not to give it your face any more irritant. And yes, it's really that potent. Next question is, where do I get all this stuff? Well, it's very simple. Like an, any normal person would just either try to Google it or go to Amazon. I went on Amazon. Again, I don't have a favorite brand to recommend you as long as you follow this guideline. So I say try like the smaller version of things and try on the less expensive one just in case if it doesn't work out for you you don't feel like you waste your money i mean it might work for me but it might not work for you so try it first i mean it comes in all different sizes like one two four even 16 ounce which one do i get well it depends on how often you use it um i actually use this every night before I go to bed only, not in the morning. It's a personal choice because in the morning it's just kind of oily and then I put on my concealer so I'm afraid it's gonna slip and slide. And like again, like I say, the, the smell kind of gets to you so only at night. Um, I prefer more of the, like the one ounce which is a 30 milliliter like little bottle. I mean it's safe enough for like when I go travel and everything so it, one little bottle like that can last me up to like say three to four months depending on how often i use it sometimes if i don't spot treat then maybe i use it even less but then i thought about it and then i well i started first with the one ounce because i wanted to try it see if i like it but then it worked out for me so i decided to invest in more of the, the four ounce this is a four ounce um, bottle which is like 118 20 milliliter or so and then I would pour from the big bottle my stock bottle out to the little mini size bottle and then use the mini size bottle on the kind of like a daily basis that way I um, save up and do utilize this for the through throughout the entire year and I do share it with my family too, so they use it as well. If you don't have anybody to share it with, then maybe just get one for you, like a little one for yourself. So how does it feel? <laughs> Good question. Like it doesn't burn or sting or anything like that, but definitely it has kind of like a tingling sensation when you first put it on. I mean, not all the time, but sometimes you do. And I put this on clean skin right after I shower. Not when you have a full face of makeup on. Say, oh, let me spot treat right here. No, no, no. That's not how it works. And definitely as a warning, avoid kind of the, like the eyes and the mouth area and the nose as well because it will burn, okay? 
especially from like let's say children or animals and yeah I even say on here do not ingest do not take this and ingest if you do if you do swallow it call the poison control okay? and away from like fire because it is flammable this is how I use it religiously and incorporate into my nightly skincare routine it's important because like I say it's a hundred percent so very concentrated you want to kind of dilute this with another liquid and the most I mean take it into consideration right um, you wanted to dilute it with a liquid that has the same viscosity to the tea tree oil you don't want to dilute it with a, let's say a cream because that's too thick it's gonna make it very difficult for you kind of to mix it all together so just just make it easier for yourself um, right after I get out of the shower you don't have to shake it up you, I would just open the bottle just dab it palm of my hand just a couple if you use a dropper just like one or two drops that's fine yeah I'm kind of lazy so I don't use a dropper sometimes making sure you have clean hands though okay wash your hands before and after then I mix it with my toner because my toner has the same kind of like that watery liquidy um, viscosity very close to this and I use a toner because it's the first step in my skincare so I thought why not put this on as soon as possible that way the smell can go away and then I can just have that kind of like tingling sensation let it do its job before I pound on more skincare products so massage it and rub it into my palm and then lightly dab everywhere onto my face and sometimes even my neck as well in this area because it needs some love too <laughs> I would let it sink in for a couple minutes before I go on with the rest of my routine another question you might ask is that why did I choose a toner instead of like a moisturizer for an instant again it's personal preference if you don't want to put it in your toner that's fine if your moisturizer is more like a gel kind of like a water-based moisturizer that's easily absorbed you can incorporate into that last step if you want another note though please remember to wash your hands like wash your hands after because sometimes <laughs> leftover tea tree oil will sting your eye because after I moisturize right then I go into with my eye cream and then sometimes I forget there's like tea tree oil left on there and then it burns and you know it's kind of like I've been there done that kind of mistake so I thought I warned you <laughs> let's say you've done all of that you um, the toner step it's more for kind of prevention whatever pimple pops up it keeps it at bay but let's say you do break out really bad like a huge pimple one day what do you do at this point i would go to like an overnight spot treatment this time i don't dilute the tea tree oil with anything just like i say again a small dab on your finger and it goes directly the product goes directly onto your pimple at night in a precaution note again i make this mistake before so don't don't overdo it small dabs will do okay just like a one two that's it and then spot treat any other area you don't have to like pour a whole thing on and then every single hour go back and say oh I need to dab some more on it no you just like one dab for the whole night that should be enough because if you use too much product again like you dabbing it over and over every single hour then it's gonna dry up your skin and then of course it's gonna cause more irritation so that's not good another take home point is that i don't pre-mix this with uh, my toner like i don't pour let's say half of this and then half my toner mix it up in a, like a bottle and just store it like that i don't like to have the product sit for a very long time and I prefer if I make, I just like to keep things fresh and in its original condition and you don't know if it's gonna alter the like the chemical properties of it if you do pre-mix it if that makes any sense so that's how I normally use it let's say you don't want to use it in your toner you don't want to use it as a spot treatment then how else can you use it right well another option is face mask you can 
not the sheet mask those because those already come with serum but like the kind of like the liquid or the muddy kind um it depends on which clay mask sometimes you can use it sometimes it's too thick and you can't you can do it with face wash right i have um put it in your normal face wash like a palm size and then just a couple of dab again mix it all together and just kind of rub it in your face wash the Face wash is more like a quick pick-me-up. It's not going to sit on your skin for too long because you're going to like use water to kind of um, take everything off. And then if you want, you can use it in your face spray to kind of rehydrate your skin. I know a lot of like Korean skin cares, they have like a spray bottle kind of like every couple hours or so they need to rehydrate their skin and they put this in just to kind of freshen everything and making sure they keep their acne at bay too or mix it with your lotion like your normal body lotion if you want to keep like itchiness away to use tea tree oil on its own just mix it with your lotion and put it on and it can help too some people use it for athletes foot um, which has antifungal property as well, like I mentioned. And like I say, people put in their shampoo to prevent head lice. So a lot, of, a lot, a lot of options. I primarily use it for skincare and the sometimes itchiness. Now that we all know my secret, and hopefully, you know, I really hope that you can get clear skin too. I struggle with it for a very long time until I find finally found something that works. And from a personal standpoint, I know, okay, I know and I can relate to you that acne can definitely affect your quality of life. I mean, I've been there, I've struggled for a very long time going through, like like I said, my whole trial and error list without any kind of guidance. I want to resort to a more like a natural option. That's why I'm here to share all my experiences with you and I'm excited and you know getting to know you you get to know me through the knowledge that I can bring and I really want to send you this message whether it's about feeling confident in your own skin or conquering that next interview attending a social event or getting ready for that hot date I got your back so get out there, have fun, and just show off that beautiful you. I know that you're beautiful, so let other people see it too. I know a lot of you requested more skincare video, so this is the start of it. And hopefully you let me know that you like it. So subscribe and thumbs up this video so I can give you more future skincare tips. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.